too much and being overweight from, from being near their store to actually being revived and returned to good health. So uh, it was such it was such a movement, this jogging movement, that a guy called Bill Bowerman came out and stayed with him. If you know who Bill Bowerman is, he's the guy that started Nike. So he thought, this is a good idea, this running thing, there's a market and there's money to be made. When he got back to the US, he got a piece of rubber, borrowed his wife's waffle line and created a waffle song. Unfortunately, what he got wrong, in my opinion, is he put a lot of stuff in his shoe to block it, to stop it, from the crop stop the foot from behaving as it should. It's supposed to be a lever. It's supposed to be a lever, a healthy lever that protects the body and, and creates energy return. So, uh, interesting how... Uh, how Lydia and, and, and the start of Nike were kind of related at that first point, but there was a real divergence, uh, of course, from simplicity on the one hand to absolute complication and injuries on, on the other hand. But that's just me saying that. I don't think any can say that. Uh, I heard about the same story. So, like, Will Bowman also went up to the big to bring their own athletes, their train athletes, yes. really run with their so-called their rehab patient from uh, so-called recovering for heart attack. Yeah. They was like left up with the back group. He was shocked. Yeah. So they was asking why this thing is happening. This guy they've been training in and out with account in health program. This paper they are running is like purely just like mainly focus a lot like uh, we call it the aerobic zone training. They are so strong. Yeah. Yep. And they are not panting at all. So so they was very shocked what kind of training approach that like, media is like giving back to this heart yeah. patient. Yeah. And their race shoes and their and their training shoes were the same. So they ran very, very thin layer of rubber and uh, light up the sole and a shoe that that bent and moved uh, to let the foot do what it's supposed to do. So um, it seems 50 years on we've come back to the same idea. And um, well, actually Newton has been doing this for a long time. But I think the market's converging. Great to see Newton taking a, a lead on this. 